Okay, so I'm making this video to show you my square one method. Like I said, it's kind of like the beginner's method with a few adjustments. Um, and I think the beginner's method, I think there's only one beginner's method. I'm referring to the one that Throst teaches in his video. Um, so the first step in my method is just the same, get it into a cube. So let me do that real quick. So after you get it into a cube, you have to uh, solve the bottom layer. I'm going to get two bars on the bottom layer, right here and right here. So um, I know that I have to solve the yellow down here. As you can see, this is the yellow side because these stickers match up perfectly. So um, I'm going to solve the two, two yellow bars down here. It doesn't matter which two bars. It doesn't have to be the red and the orange. It could be any two. And I see these two... Uh, blue ones matched up already so I'm gonna actually add a third blue right here and make a blue bar so I'm gonna look for the other corner and it's right here the other blue yellow corner so I'm gonna move it to the top layer and then I'm going to get it lined up so I can move it down here now you notice I'm always keeping it a square by just leaving one layer offset by one edge and it doesn't matter if it's the top layer or the bottom layer that's offset by one it'll still remain a cube no matter how you turn it. So just do that on every single turn that you make and it'll stay a cube. So I have one blue bar over here and I put this on the left side because I usually grip it right here and now I can't mess it up now that it's over there. So my next step is to get the opposite bar. So since green is opposite of blue, I have to get a green bar over here. So here's one green corner. I'm gonna match up the other green corner to it first and now I need to put the edge in. So I'm looking for the edge and it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side, move the corners to the side and put the edge where this one's at. So I have the green edge right here. Now there's a short little algorithm that you should already know with the beginner's method and it's just you move this one, do a slice move, move this negative one, move this negative one, then do another slice move, and then do this one. So if you do it quick, it looks like this. So um, so I put, if I do that, it's going to move these two and these two. So I'm going to do that algorithm, and it's going to put that green edge that was back here, and it's going to put it right here. And if I do it again, it'll put it right back here. So if I move these corners, and I do it again, the green edge should end up right in between them. Should end up right there. So I do that algorithm, oops, do that algorithm again, and I have my green bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bottom layer. And now you see I have two bars here. And there's there's a few cases in which the last two edges can be in. The first case is the simplest, it's like this where you just have them opposite of each other already, and in which case, um, you line it up to where the orange one back here uh, matches up with the oranges here, and this red one in the front matches up with the red ones in the back, so that whenever I do that short algorithm again, it's going to solve this bottom layer completely, okay? So that's one of the cases, and here I'll show you the other case. Okay, the other case is like this, where they can be across from each other. And in this case, you use a permutation algorithm. Um, it's the one where you do a slice move, negative three, slice move, positive three, slice move, negative three, a slice move, positive three, and then another slice move. And that will make your bottom two bars messed up a little bit. They're still going to be bars, but they're going to be two blues and a green, and then two greens and a blue. And in this case, once you get it here, those should be opposite of each other uh, because what the permutation algorithm does is it messes up the bottom layer and then it swaps these two edges and these two corners. So this one used to be the yellow one, but when I swap these two edges and these two corners, uh, the yellow moved down here and now they're opposite of each other, which is what we want. So since the bottom layer is messed up now, you have to do that 
algorithm like this, but you have to do it in such a way to where um, these stickers should be the same so that when you do that algorithm, you should get a bar of two, a bar of two, a bar of two, and a bar of two. Which means that whenever I do that permutation algorithm again, for example, this one, it's just the negative three, positive three, negative three, positive three, um, it should solve the bottom layer completely. And so that's, that's another way to solve the bottom layer when you have that uh, set up with the two edges right here and right here. Um, there's always the possibility that oh wait. let me get this right there's always the possibility that one edge is in the bottom and one edge is in the top. So in that case what you want to do is you want to do that algorithm, the, the short one, um, I think Thross calls it algorithm A, and it should put that edge up here, and then you just get the adjacent edge case. Um, if both edges are down here, but they're like flipped, um, you just do that A algorithm, rotate the bottom layer, and then do it again, and that'll, that'll flip them. So, I'm going to just do this case and solve the first layer. And so that, that layer is essentially solved. All I have to do is the permutation algorithm and it will fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to permutation of the last layer, which is just like the beginner's method. I'm just going to take this chunk here and I'm going to move it around here step by step to get a big, to start building a block. And now, let's see, once I'm here, I'm going to um, Okay, I have parity, so I'm going to do the parity algorithm. Okay, and I'm one step away. I, I learned the algorithm for this one where I have to swap these two and these two and not mess up the bottom layer because I think it'll save me a little bit of time. And that's solved. So I'll do I'll go through another solve real quick and it'll be just like a walkthrough solve. Okay, so here's the scramble, and so first step, get it into a cube, so, so there's a cube, and then I see I'm going to be making a yellow bar, this all you need to do is insert a blue edge, so I'm going to look for the blue edge, and it's right down here, so I'm going to do that algorithm, and it put it up here. Now I've got a blue bar, so I'm going to put it in the bottom layer and off to this side to preserve it. Now I'm going to match up my green bar, so that means this corner has to swing all the way around to here. So I moved it to here, now I just do the same sort of moves, move it next to each other. Um, the green edge is right here, so if I do a slice move, then uh, it'll put it down in the bottom layer, and then I... Uh, move these two green spots so that when I do the slice move again, it'll come back right where it was, right in place. And so I'll put those on the bottom layer, and let's see, I've got the case where there's one edge in the bottom layer, so I'll do the slice move and it'll put it up into the top layer. I will do the permutation algorithm that'll set them opposite of each other. And then I'll do the slice move again because these stickers match. 
and I've got a set of two, a set of two, a set of two, and a set of two. So the bottom layer is essentially solved. Um, now I just move on to the permutation of the top layer, and I can see this will be a really fast solve because once I do the permutation algorithm again, that fixes my bottom layer and puts me in the exact case for the uh, for the parity algorithm. So I'll do the parity algorithm now. And I'm done. I just adjust the top layer. And so that was a, a quick way to solve the puzzle. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully this was clear. Um, I can make another video clarifying it, making it better if, uh, if it's hard to understand. And I'll put the algorithms I was talking about uh, in the description so you can see uh, what I mean when I said what algorithms I was referring to. But you see this puzzle, this method doesn't actually use an orientation. Um, so I know that in the beginner's method, after you got it into a cube shape, the next step was to get the top, you know, all white and the bottom all yellow. This doesn't do that. It just solves the, the bottom layer, and then that will just make the top layer all white. So hopefully that made sense. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps. Tell me what you guys think of it. See ya.